Baby, everything is your color. Orange is not my color. Absolutely is. Oh, I should probably sit up because this is just not a drink, dude. Okay. All right, I want to give you guys an update um, on some symptoms that I'm having and my thoughts thus far. So it is Tuesday, October 29th. We are one week away from testing, um, taking a pregnancy test. And I am fairly certain, like 99% sure that I'm not pregnant. Um, I'm having all of my PMS symptoms like full force and I know that a lot of times PMS symptoms and pregnancy symptoms can be very much alike, but these are all too, um, normal. Yes. So that's okay. I'm fully expecting a negative and like, like I'm seriously okay with that. Um, I mean, of course I wish it was positive and like that we did get pregnant, but like, it's We're not like super, down in the dumps. It's not uncommon. No, it is uncommon for it to work the first time. What did they say? It was like 20% success or something yeah. crazy low like that. Yeah, they say the success rate lies within, like the higher success rates lie within the third, fourth, fifth, sixth time trying. Uh, but our doctor, is, it, she said that we're only going to do three of these cycles. So... Um, anywho, just wanted to give you guys an update. Good morning. Um, me and all of my glory again this morning. Um, Alex knows that I'm recording this morning, so I can talk a little bit. But um, the reason I was so quiet yesterday was because we had planned on me taking a test this morning. Um, today is November 5th. Um, and so I was kind of like, if it was positive, which I didn't think it was going to be, then I was kind of surprised him yesterday, but, um, so I'm taking a test today anyways, just in case, because today was the day we were planning on me taking one, um, I really do think it's going to be negative, so, that's okay, because it's the first round, and, um, it's not very common for women to get pregnant on the first I second IUI. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching all of this. Um, you guys are awesome. So thank you. Okay. Lay, lay, babe. I have a 
believe it is November 8th. And I was supposed to start my second round of Letrozole today. And, okay. So, as you saw, the IUI didn't work. I didn't get any positive tests. And then I got my period on Tuesday evening. So I called my doctor Monday morning. I'm sorry, I called my doctor Wednesday morning and I told them that I started. And they said, okay, take a pregnancy test on the 8th. If it's negative, start letrozole. So I thought, okay. And it's the 8th and I wasn't even going to take a pregnancy test because I thought, well, I was going to take one. I was just kind of reluctant, you know, like I didn't want to take one because I'm on my period and it's a very normal period. And TMI, skip through the next few seconds if you don't want to hear this, but it's a very heavy period. So it's not like it's light spotting or anything like it is a heavy period. But I took a test anyways, just to be sure, because I don't want to take electrosol in case there's anything in my belly. And there is the faintest line. So let me show you. I have no idea how well you can see this on camera. But there's a line. A very faint line. Again, I have no clue if the camera is picking this up or not, but there's a line there. I had three other people confirm it, and they all saw it, and Alex is currently not here right now. He's in Florida. And I have not told him yet, and I don't think that it's actually, I don't think I'm actually pregnant. I really don't. I think that this is like a, a like there's no way. So I'm going to take one first thing in the morning and see what that one says. So I guess I'll just tell you like what's going through my mind. Um, I had normal for me periods and then suddenly I missed a period which you guys saw in my other videos and I got excited because usually when you miss a period after having periods means you're pregnant. But no, not me. Just conveniently happened when we're trying to have a baby. And then I get a second line on this test. And it's probably not actually positive. record tomorrow and
take another test and I'll let you guys know what it's here. All right. So, I'm not giving you guys an update yet. Um, I had a blood test a few days after that test came back as positive and the next morning I took a regular test and it came back negative or I took a test and it came back negative and then like I said I went and got the blood test and that also came back negative so I'm assuming the pregnancy test just picked up leftover HCG from the trigger shot but by the time I had my blood test done it was too late to start taking the letrozole um, for this cycle so we cannot do an IUI this cycle which makes me sad and we feel pretty disappointed about that but um, they said to go ahead and try tracking ovulation this time around my eyebrows <laughs> and um, whenever I start my next cycle we will try another IUI round and um, see what happens. So, yeah, no IUI this month, but that's okay. Yeah, so.